On September the 18th, Flick Connection shared an interview he did on his YouTube channel with Gino Carafelli on his role in Martin Scorsese's upcoming The Irishman. Carafelli has had small roles on mob shows in the past like The Sopranos and Boardwalk Empire. He worked with De Niro in The Good Shepherd and The Family and is said to have a small role in Josh Trank's upcoming Al Capone biopic starring Tom Hardy. Carafelli has a small role in Scorsese's mob drama, in a role he shot over two weeks playing Mayor Frank Rizzo. Rizzo had a brutal reputation as the Philadelphia police commissioner and then the mayor, often clashing with African Americans, the media, and he had numerous allegations against him ranging from systematic discrimination to physical assault. His role in the movie will most likely be hovering in the background of a few scenes here and there. It was a pretty good interview, it's over 10 minutes long and it really does lack pretentiousness, it's just like two film fans talking about their love for Scorsese and movies. Carafelli talks about his awe at working with the likes of Pacino and De Niro, mentions that Scorsese is quite the joker on set but does everything he can to get the best out of his actors. Carafelli also said he got quite sad in a strange way, seeing all his heroes like Pacino and De Niro having become so old. He also spoke about how he got the role of Rizzo, saying he heard about the project and sent over an improv take. Ellen Lewis, frequent Scorsese casting director, wanted Carafelli to come in for an audition, telling him that they were thinking about him for three parts. He initially thought he was going to be offered a mobster role, which is a typical role for him, he says, being boxed in as an Italian-American, but was surprised when he learned of the filmmaker's interest in him playing the role of Mayor Rizzo. He waited for around four months before he got the call to say he got the role and was so excited he was doing cartwheels. He did highlight though that it was possible that his role could get cut out as there were around 240 scenes in the film. It was very long and undoubtedly things would be cut out. Carafelli hopes he does remain in the film, even if it's a quick wave on screen, just so he can be a part of this historic picture. The most interesting thing I found about the interview was Carafelli talking about a particular scene he was involved in. He describes it as some kind of charity event, with De Niro being the focus, and Pacino presenting him with an award. To me, that definitely sounds like Frank Sheeran Appreciation Night, a very important scene in the film, and which is actually the scene I was talking about in my video, One Scene That Would Blow You Away in The Irishman, simply because it's likely the only scene in the film, and in film history, that will feature Pacino, Pesci, De Niro and Keitel all in the same scene. Carafelli talks about how all the big actors are there, Harvey Keitel and Joe Pesci included, and says that he believes there was a very ambitious single take being filmed for the scene, which took around two weeks to film. The set was very intricate, with all the extras being required to do specific things at specific times, and he compared it to the Copacabana scene in Goodfellas the one where Henry and Karen walk through the back doors and kitchens on the way to the restaurant. The Irishman is set to be released in late 2019 on Netflix's streaming service. Thanks for watching.